<laughs> is it Tommy from OBS? That's what somebody said. Tommy, yeah, Tr- Tommy. Tommy from OBS. Uh, someone's put Chase, Chase Carey. They're already trying to work out who you oh, are. Oh, the, the um, guest in the guest. Uh, yeah, the guest in the guest. Anne Murrican. Oh, shit, I should have the chat up. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's just the YouTube live one. Uh, hey, it's a double win because when someone guesses who it is, we'll also know they can hear us. Oh, that's a good trick. That's true. 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 Bob Clark says, I hear you. Johan says, The Freedom Fighter. I don't even know what that means. I, I get it. I've done another yeah, obscure Catholic. title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. I did. I just did see that. I saw that. That uh, It was Nan, wasn't it? That was the joke, I assume. No. What a bloody liberty. That's yes, what I the yes, was. it was a slight play on that. Uh, check, check. Uh, this yeah, I know. Way. Yeah. Oh fuck, he's done the bad thing. Yeah. Yo, if I send you the YouTube link and then just use pop out chat. So yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's what. So, Anthony from Elemental. So so only one person like can hear us. Oh, Mick can hear us. Yeah, yeah. they can hear us. They're just they're, they're guessing and being and and, and uh, uh-huh. getting it wrong. The little member symbol looks rubbish on a black chat background. I'll need to fix that. Oh, fucking <laughs> hell. I just sent you the same pissing thing twice. Uh, I'll unsend that. Right, well, so. while that's going on, let's roll intro. Let's go. Uh-huh. Fuck no, because you can't do it on live. It fucks up. Oh yeah, it messes it up. Um, okay, welcome, welcome. We are live. Uh, we are live. Special guest, special guest, uh, special guest. We are live. Episode thirty-seven, new home show. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to turn your chat to live chat and smash that like button. Uh, John. Who's uh, our special guest? No one manages to guess it because we're messing around too much in the background. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Angsty <laughs> from the Plumes of Hazard. Angsty has been a long time. Well, kind of, he's the reason. Kind, kind of a founder. Yeah. Kind, kind, You're kind of, of a, the founder yeah. of, the whole, of the whole thing with a few other people. Angsty, how the fuck are you? Oh, hello. I still wasn't sure whether or not we were alive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're live. Yeah, we're it's live. very we're confusing. Live. We're live. We're live. I was getting the thing up. So you got to tell me, so why does your stuff screw up when... Uh, when you try to use the Zoom tech, so That's I'm nice. using I'm using OBS and yeah. Zoom, yeah. And if if I try and do anything other than the basic window, you know, if I want mm-hmm. to go full screen or theater mode or share, yeah. it just crashes. It crashes OBS. No kidding. Yeah. I well, mean, that sucks. I because I, I, I do the same thing, right? I, I do that every week, and and it it fortunately doesn't crash on me. Thank God. I was just yeah. curious what happened. Uh, what what made that do? Now, what what does happen is I can't minimize OBS. No, I can't do that. That's the big yeah, thing. If you, you minimize do. OBS, I mean, just bad things it has happen. To, it has so to it's... stay front but behind. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's that's the OBS. shit. The different lots of shit we've had to go through. We've been doing this. I've been doing this four years. You were doing it six years or something. It yeah. is the amount of times we've had to. There's been this weird evolution of. Oh yeah, by the way, that don't work anymore. What? Yeah, yeah. No, that don't work. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna run OBS right up to the latest version and see if that works. And I might try Streamlabs again. You know the other OBS. Swab. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. Yeah. It, it's got such a great acronym. Swab. <laughs> Well, while we're talking oh, about Max, yeah. let's let's what what are you vaping? And it's not quite the right time of day for drinking alcohol. But uh, what are you drinking that's not uh, alcohol? <clears throat> well, just because of Todd. Hey, Watch. <laughs> the iconic. So as opening. as always, there's there's one of these in my hand basically all day every day. Um, uh, in my hand uh, is as usual. Uh, and, we'll, and we'll probably, I assume, because the last I saw your show, you still talk quite a bit about vaping. So we'll talk about this. Later. Yeah, yeah, we do do that. We try to. <laughs> I've got a limelight uh, RAM hand or uh, the, the free hand with the RAM board inside. On top is a NAR EA, which is it's my it's my favorite thing ever. And, uh, and inside of here is a uh, rail cracker. <clears throat> it's a it's a like a light graham cracker, not sweet. I know that. I used to sell it when oh, that's it right. came that's straight from Zach. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because um, Jay's making it, isn't he now? Bigglesworth. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Bigglesworth makes it through Bombies still. Oh, I thought Bombies had gone entirely. 
I don't think so. Uh, and what I the know fuck? They're always having a, a closing of... down sale every ten fucking that's, minutes. That's I just good marketing. Yeah, <laughs> close it <laughs> down. Okay, cool. Well, no, I mean they they probably they probably are right. And I mean thanks to the the crap that we've got going they, on. They might be. I'm yeah. talking about for the last six months. I think I've kept getting oh. emails from Bombies. Yeah, because I remember Bombies starting on Reddit. I uh, oh yeah. I, I remember buying Bombies from a garage. You know, from that's a guy right. who was making it in his garage. That's fucking, that's proper OG vaping. You're like, yep, I remember. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Where, where Juice was as hard to get hold of as RDAs. I really was. <laughs> I had to be fucking like in the know and watching in 12 different places at once. I had yes. Grants when he was making it in his shed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had Bombies when he was making it in a garage. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. You, you, but you had to know the guy yeah. that knew the guy. Otherwise, you couldn't get it anyway. Even nope. if you found yeah. the guy, he needed to know someone you knew. Otherwise, there's nothing. No, no deal could be made. Well, yeah, that's right. You, you were untrustworthy <laughs> at that point, right? Yeah. Yeah. Grant was writing his labels with a pen, and um, Bombies was uh, like um, just normal, normal paper labels, like you know, Tuppence labels mm. with different Bombies stuff written on it. I think I had the gummy one or something first. Yeah, time. gummy B. I think they had. Yeah, yeah, something like that, and a banana one. It was like a bananary taste. Yeah, it like they banana had medicine. that. That's one of Foo's all-time most hated e <laughs> uh, Yeah, but then Grants was dirty, mine. Dirty banana. Gra yeah. Grants was like, I fucking hate Grants. If you put it anywhere near me, the dull selector, dull selector in that is like, and like, fuck off. So that's called Nana love. Cream. And I, 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 have, yeah. I have one positive thing to say about Nana Cream, because at the time, everything coming out was strawberry milk, whatever, whatever, right? It's, mm -hmm. it, it was just all the same shit all the time. Nana cream tasted like a green banana. If you've ever had a like an unripe banana, it was kind of, I had it kind of weird on the tongue. Like <laughs> I didn't mind it. Almost. It tasted weird. over here. We have a you have a medicine like everybody knows it's earache medicine, which is penicillin. Sure. You get from the doctor when you're a kid. I'm familiar with penicillin. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But I just meant I was telling you what was in it. But it oh, was pen oh, oh. it was penicillin. But you were like, but when you were like five or something, you'd get banana medicine, and it was penicillin. Oh, but, okay. And it tastes exactly like n uh, nana milk, or whatever the fuck it was called. It tastes yeah, exactly yeah. like. It will have been the same concentrate. It's yeah, it probably was. They'll have had put some flavouring in it. So. I remember the first time when I was like twelve, and I got given medicine that wasn't flavoured, and I was like, the "Fuck is that? <laughs> fuck." Yeah, fucking new. why are you doing that that's, don't a, care about right. that's a genius thing for that thread you did on the group vapes <laughs> that don't exist yet flavours that don't exist yet cowpole cowpole flavour true yeah you'd fake being sick just to have cowpole give me some of that shit I'm... wait so was that the banana stuff or not the banana stuff no cowpole's like a like it's a paracetamol but it's strawberry it's just, yeah kids kids headache it's really medicine. sweet okay. <laughs> it's really sweet and it's like Mum's fuck off medicine. You're like, oh yeah, oh, yeah have some of that. <laughs> and, uh, unconscious. They're like, yeah, no, no, no I'm pretty sure it was a headache. <laughs> like, uh, what happened? No, wants to know if I ever vape anything different. I do, um, on occasion. Uh, I do have, uh, I've got a bunch of other shit, but uh, I'll either have a billet box up or uh, Todd's Har, which I've got uh -huh. you know, one of those guys here. Um, and when I vape that, I usually vape in one of these ones, uh, either get pissed. Which is a uh, margarita, cactus, cactus yeah, margarita, we sell it. and uh, or, you still or got that, my John? face on it. Yeah, I still got some. I've got just the end of cactus now. Mm. Or the one with my face on it, which is abolishment. That's that's the one. Yeah, that that, that's that's about. a UK favorite. But I've heard stash is gone now too. But what was yeah. it? Yeah. What, what's yeah, what's in the billet box in terms of atomizer? Uh, the Zeta. Oh, okay. I remember yeah. your obsession with the Exocet. Well, the Exocet was hands down the best villa box atomizer for many years for many years but i and i you know did a review on it that i, I loved it but uh, you couldn't get one uh, which is the big problem right i mean hellfire is great but they made two quick batches of them and never made another one until obviously lately the v2 came out right so what you got there no i've, I've, got, got, the, I've got i've got the evl alien oh it's right. fucking good is it You're really so like, i haven't oh, yeah. tried the i haven't tried john's uh, new one yeah, yeah, it's fucking off the charts, wicked. Um, but when when Stephen put out the uh, the Zeta, I was I was, I mean, I had a little bit of a hand in, in helping him tweak some things, and mm. and it ended up being a fantastic. So it's such a flexible atomizer. I really, really like that. 
about That's it. the difference now, is that now there's so much choice with the bullet box. You can have yeah. the vape you want. Like before, even if even with the Exocet, you're still making, uh, you're, you know, giving a bit because it is what it is. And, and there was a lot of shit out. Mm -hmm. A lot of things were just an empty fucking tube and you were trying to build like no res, res wire and shit. Right. And paint in the arse. Right. And if you got it wrong, you just auto siphon the entire tank. Just went, and that was yeah. it. That's how it was known as for having a wet pocket. And they were. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <clears throat> but no yeah, more that, busted o-rings it's weird it's weird now that shit actually works and and there's so and, and to your point there's so many options now it's, yeah yeah it's pretty awesome if i was if i had to go back to something that wasn't this clunker the billet box would be it now because there's so many options yeah yeah agreed, yep, agreed. <clears throat> uh what are you vaping but, and drinking john i am uh drinking um a tiny uh rebel uh Club? Well, it's not club, is it? C L W B a tropical tropical the tropical IPA. It's nice without being stupid. It's not flavoured with pineapple and mango and stuff. It's just used mosaic hops and chrysanthemums. What else? Uh, stuff. I didn't check the other day. It is. It's nice. It's a dry IPA, and I have got crack current in the drawer, and I've got. <clears throat> uh, it's still a secret. Stuff in the EVL alien in the Rev Four with my face on it. Very good, very good. Richard, is, is that everything? Okay. okay. That's it. What are you drinking? What are you doing? drinking? Drinking uh, Cronenberg. Yeah, was old. Oh, fucking hell, sixteen sixty four is not out of date. That. Yeah, next week it goes out. Oh, so I've got to drink it today. Yeah, it was four hundred uh, years old, or nearly. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's all in that's foreign. It's all in foreign. Um, so there's that. Um, that's what I'm drinking. I've got a couple of those. Uh, I've got uh, the new uh, Nex, Me Nex M Pro Tank. Um, nice. It's, a, it's, it's the new, it's just a new sub tank. But actually, it comes with, no, it doesn't come with, a, can be got, is an absolutely brilliant uh, rebuildable deck for it. Oh, okay. That's good. It's. Um, it it can hold. They've done. The, do you remember the Cleto trick, where yes. they did the TPD coil, that was just oh, really yes. wide. Oh yes, you took it out. Yeah, you yeah. could take it out and put a normal coil in. Suddenly the capacity doubled. Yeah, they've gone back to that trick with this tank. It's still open. It's not covered by the TPD. The bungs are covered. That's not covered. Comes with a fat coil. Yeah. Um, and then you can get thinner coils for it. But as a result of the fact it can fit a fat coil, it can fit a proper. RBA, Deck. so it's, nice. it's got a yeah. full on. So it's literally just like a two post. Put your coil in, and it's got a really nice air underneath, and you wick it properly like an RTA. So it converts into a fully fledged RTA, which is nice. Hmm. Um, and they've nice. used a bit of uh, they they seem to have developed a bit of a sense of humour with the fatter coil uh, that's just as a workaround because they've put one strand of mesh in there and one strand mm -hmm. of round wire. So it's a coil head that's one's round wire and one's mesh. Okay. What, in the same head? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> so that's free, but fair enough. So that's what I'm using right now. I, I don't think that you could ever claim any kind of scientific reason to do that. No, apart from you might as well. You got just, just, I, I like just for that. Just because anyone, only, people are only going to use that coil maybe a few tanks and then get go the capacity's rubbish and swap it for a real coil. Really, I do you know what I the, the British workaround thing, like when they changed the laws over here, and the Brits went, Yeah, yeah, like I remember it, it waiting for the TPD to come in, and people were saying, Yeah, but when they do that, we'll just put nicotine, we'll, Shh, don't fucking say it, right. let them pass the pissing thing. And they passed it, and that really reminded me this week because we've had new COVID 19 rules in the UK. They said, mm. um, You can only drink, the pub's going to close at 10 o'clock. And I saw the summing up of this in a really short video. It was really funny. And it said they're going to, people uh, get <clears throat> over emotional when they're drunk and they're hugging each other and that's causing a problem. So they're going to shut the bar at 10 o'clock to stop people drinking. And there was a, and there was a, somebody did a set up, they were in a bar and they went, uh, excuse me, can I have a uh, Jaeger bomb? And the barman said, uh, yep. Just to let you know, they're three for five pounds. And uh, uh, also to remind you, we are shutting at 10 tonight. And then she turns back to her friends and goes, gives them the nod. And he, she goes, yeah, can we have 12 Jaeger bombs each? <laughs> 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 and I thought, 
yeah, that's how it works. That's what's going to happen. It is, it is true, though. People are less good at social distancing the oh, later true. the day goes on. The British people are just going to get in the pub an hour earlier and drink more It's the only way. It's the only way. Yeah, they're not going to... Come on, love, drink up, drink up, drink up. Then it got to 10. They're just going to get fucked out of their mind. Yeah, no sense to do it at all. It really made me laugh. I thought, Um, yeah, the British Prime Minister's never met a Brit before. (laughs) No, it's... uh, Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Uh, So that's the thing. I tell you what, as well, we're talking about workarounds. Have you noticed as well... And even slicker work around. Some companies aren't disclosing the capacity now. <laughs> they're, yeah, just, you are... they're just not listening it on the box, not listening it on the website, not in the manual. <laughs> just don't say the capacity, and then we can. It's like it a, how much it fit. It's like a I've always, it's such a good excuse in court. There I, has I, to be such that, it. There has, but then you're quite right though, because if you said to somebody though, say you so the 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 door. The draw, 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 the 22, if you put a bit of plastic in the in the um, airflow and you put it upside down, you can fill it up to the top and then you put the tank on and push it in and you can get an extra like mil and a half in there or something like that or two mil or whatever. Yep. And I was thinking, well, how much of that is taken into account? Because if they say, well, that's more than two mil and you, you could go, well, okay, then you put more than two mil in it, I'll watch you. And you can't because it would tip and go through the thing, down the center of the hole. Yeah. Only if you've got a straw in it. Yeah. I think the there is a thing that says intended minutes. use. Yeah, mm-hmm. but then it's not if you had to add. Yeah, it's just. Uh, 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 well, I don't think anyone's ever gone to call for it yet. But let's see. Yep. Uh, also vaping. This. What? That's a hell of a drip tip, isn't it? Well, yeah. Wow, well, showers. It looks like the outside's missing. Yeah, yeah. It's it, you can't you can just put a normal drip tip on it, um, but because it's got this ledge, um, it's still not great. I, the name I've just forgotten the name of it. It's uh, Cthulhu. Cthulhu Artemis mouth to lung RTA. So what is Cthulhu? Is a like a I, 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 thing, I, is it? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's like a giant squid or something. Isn't it? It's uh, um, it's an elder god. It's one of the uh, the old, yeah. uh, is the it old a, elder. Is it a Norse thing? Mm. Oh, is that what it is? Something like that, I think. Um, they've been around ages, though. They do. Yeah, they, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They do. I, I, they I, do I, mad I shit, and this is no exception. Um, they so they're known for like cloudy, cloudy things, right? Yeah, they did. They, they the the good things they've done have been cloudy. <laughs> mm. um, this is um, Mark. Mark's actually just done a video for this, and I haven't had a chance to check it out. I I hope he agrees with me that it's a bit mad. Um, so what they've done is they've made it so you can unscrew the very bottom of the tank, and out pops the five ten pin, and then there's a range of five ten pins with different air restrictions. Okay. So you can tighten it up and what have you. But this spins out the traditional way, and as a result of that, they've made it so detaching the barrel from the deck is reverse threaded Mm -hmm. so every time you attach this to a mod you can literally just whiz the tank straight off and just throw juice all over your face Um, (laughs) uh, or you can be going to adjust the airflow and just whiz the whole base off the thing as well Um, so it's this incredible sort of juggling act of making it not um, Come apart in your hands while you're playing with it. Uh, did, you, did you say that you have to replace the five ten pin? That is it taking the air from the five ten pin. It's like um, it's it's got all sort of uh, pre- it's pressing it all d- into itself. So it's purely based on it's it's effectively loose the five ten pin, uh, but really? it's it's clamped in quite hard when you actually put it back together. Okay. I'll definitely keep it on a regulated device. Mm. Um, yeah, I think so. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I need to see what Mark said. Uh, I try, I, I try not to do that, but on something like this, I want to make sure I'm not mad. Um, so I will be seeing what Mark said about it. Yeah, you don't want to miss the obvious or something. I go, no, I don't have to do that. <laughs> it could just be that like mine's accidentally insanely loose or something. Uh, yeah. But that's kind of the whole point. The whole point is you can change the airflow really easy. Uh, so I don't know. Um, right. Lastly, lastly, uh, this very cute RDA. 
Uh, from, Actually, from it's very Van, cute. Yeah, it's, it's steady. It's cute. It's uh, from Vanny Vape. It's the Requiem. Oh. And it's a squonky, squonky thing. It um, looks good on there, too. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Um, unfortunately, the stainless one still has the yellow. They should have gone clear. Yeah, on you did say because mm. you had it. You featured it on your new stuff, didn't you? Yeah, um, and they've done the airflow literally by just having three caps. So the alton bit is the entire airflow, and there's just three: really tight, medium, and really loose. And they all have different matching drip tips, and so you literally just get three three top bits. Mm. And that comes all together with everybody gets that. Yes. So, <laughs> you need to hope that one of those three is exactly how you like it, uh, which is probably fine for the medium one and the loose one, but people are funny about mouth to lung, aren't they? People are really like, like to dial it. You can't mm. dial it. It's almost tugboat-esque. You know, it's it, it, if it's either it's going to be just right or it's not. That's um, fair enough. I just realised Toddlington's in chat, and I just thought oh, I was talking to him. I knew I didn't even say that angst was on. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Pardon Mark me. saying he did say the same as me. It is a bit mad. Mm. That's that's a relief. We're gonna have to. We're gonna go straight to you, yes. Mr. Angst. Normally we'd go Mr. to news, but you're a busy, busy man. So you need yes, to you can't stick around the whole thing. So we'll have a chat with you. Um, we've got to talk hey, COVID. Uh, I, I would like to to mention one thing. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. In in chat from a few minutes ago, Mike Blithers said it. it he had some bad medicine when he was. A kid. I did see the flavor. <laughs> I spotted it too. Yeah, he said this is why I hate licorice, which makes sense because the licorice is disgusting. But garlic, to this day, how can you hate garlic? Garlic is the best thing in the world. Everything that I ever so, make. Yeah, it's nice in food. But was the medicine garlic and licorice? Yeah. Uh, I think he said it was uh, liquifera. Liquifera. Right. I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't know. I don't know. It sounds terrible, but I mean. You have to have an allium in like everything, right? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. has to have an onion or garlic or something in it, otherwise it sucks. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I, yeah, yeah I and don't that's why he hates licorice and garlic. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, but the thing oh, is, you need to you need to just put all that to one side and try bolognese. Because we we had this discussion the other day because because of the proximity to um, Brian and Mexico that uh, they have this thing where uh, what was the thing? You coriander mm -hmm. that. Like you were amazed. Uh, well, initially we were talking. I was making salsa. And I didn't put any in. That's right. Uh, and <laughs> and Angst went. What the, why haven't you put any? What do you you mad bastards call it? Cilantro. 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 And I was like, no, I hate it. It tastes like soap. Yeah. And then and that's Angst, what it is. Some, some Angst did say, yeah, thing. it tastes like soap. Yeah. <clears throat> I give my my, uh, my mom's got that. She doesn't like it at all. Yeah. Um. And I and I'm I don't know what's the deal because I I've always heard it's it's either or. Mm -hmm. um with me if i just eat it out of hand right if i just get a bunch and you know eat some which my dad will do my dad absolutely <laughs> but i, I was can, gonna say I can as eat. you do and then your, yeah. your dad did it <laughs> right he would because he, he likes cilantro a lot or or sprouted coriander right yeah, yeah. we still call the the seeds we call part. seeds coriander yeah, that's coriander yeah, but yeah when it's sprouted it's and it's but well, we do call it coriander seeds so but i like see i use those in curry so i'll i'll dry fry those and then mm -hmm. crush them with like you know uh now we're talking about cooking it's I the same I like love that we're talking about cooking i love that we just <laughs> okay. rolled back the years <laughs> it's just gone to shit yeah uh so yeah you just put it with like a varying mix of stuff and crush yeah. it and then use it but i don't i but but yeah, not not. I don't actually use coriander or anything. As soon as but it, it says, tastes different, right? The seeds, yeah, definitely not. It's a, it's a different. It's a different. It's a spice versus an herb, right? Or a yeah. herb, excuse me. Um, yeah, speak I, English. That, that's one of my favorite English things. Is is for whatever reason we decided to drop the H, and you guys just said no. There's an H there. You just say it. <laughs> yeah, there's loads of shit like that where you kind of like like uh, we're talking to people in America. Sometimes it really throws me. I can't remember who it was the other day. Somebody posted something. Uh, something, something, my favourite colour. And I nearly put, you fuck with, where's the you? And then I thought, oh no. <laughs> no, no, no. no. It's, it's, Sim this, simplified, this, simplified. Yeah, yeah this fuck with, we're never going to fix that. <laughs> yeah, Friggin' Webster, fun. right? Just decided to, like, just some, change things. So, just some, to change of the, some of the changes I genuinely agree with. Go. But, but, oh, but, but, but colour, it no. doesn't... You, how do you can't pronounce the word color without these? But some don't even make any sense. What the fuck is mum and mom? What the fuck is a mom? It's the weirdest <laughs> thing to changing what? Yeah, but yeah, but there are parts of America where they do actually just say mom. Mom, like M O M, mom. Yeah. Well, yeah. 
that's, yeah, that's what they all do. Yeah, it's so short that's, mother, so right? it's just it's... transition to that because that's how they say it, isn't it? That's because yeah. me- fuck them. That's not how it works. Yeah, <laughs> no. That is exactly Stop. how language works. That is exactly <laughs> how language works. Yeah, couldn't be more how it works. We haven't copy- about- We didn't copyright it. Because you imagine if you were kind of, say you lived because like English is what well, is the most difficult language to learn because we've got more words than anybody. But yeah, it must be really fucked up if you if you like got your education in in Britain. I mean, let's be serious. No one would do it on purpose in America. So they've come here, they've got their education, and they go over there, and then they go, "Well, it's about that wrong." And you go, "What the fuck? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> what? I just learned all this bullshit before." <laughs> you now, now we're just getting examples dick. in chat. Uh, aluminum. Oh, Carmel. That is really Carmel. annoying. I, I hate that thing. Went that one is again. difficult here because across our country, people say caramel, yeah. caramel, caramel. Yeah, like, yeah that's it, right. People say it all over the place. Mm. It's weird. That's a really weird word to me. Caramel is the weird. That's the weird one. Like, what? Yeah. Shut up. I'm changing say actually. that one over there. Caramel. 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 Okay. Yeah. I, I almost always make the long. It's 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 if I if I pick up a caramel cookie, it's it's almost always caramel. But if I see if I hear somebody saying it, it, it it's one of those automatic transition things that I don't even notice. Yeah. <clears throat> By the way, if, if anybody's commenting on, on my voice, it, it sounds differently. I have had a sinus thing over the last couple of days and, and it's <laughs> the post nasal drip has affected the old voice box. Yeah. He's got a note sure. and everything. Sean Tooth has asked in chat, at what age does mummy become mum? You can call her mum now, Sean. It's fine. <laughs> you okay, man? Yeah. Let's go with it. Just say we said it's fine. I'll just call her Sue. <laughs> She's never truly loved you. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Move on really quickly. Uh, how is... How we want is... to know what the what you brought up, what the yeah. COVID situation is, it where you are. Down. Yeah. Did I bring it up? I don't think I Yeah, did. you said you've got a sore I... throat. And then pretended yeah, it yeah, wasn't COVID. Yeah, I'm going to throw a throat, but I don't have COVID. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are, are, you, um, are you like us? Are you all sort of locking down or distancing? No, I'm pissed on all that. We did that a while back. Uh, the whole, like, full lockdown, like, like rest at home, like, don't go fucking anywhere, that kind of thing. We yeah. did that for a while. And it, and, and I don't know exactly the, the intricacies of the, of the UK economy. But here... <laughs> if we don't work, then you don't have a house and you can't pay your bills and you we, we have to work, right? And in order to work, there's some other things that have to fall in place as well. So they did loosen some of the restrictions to let people work and, and earn a earn a living. But uh but yeah, we're still doing all the masks, right? Like you, you don't you don't go into shops without masks on. People do. Uh some shops have said this is the rule, you don't come in without it. Like uh, Costco, right? Is a is I'm sure they got Costco's over there, right? No, we got Walmart, but we don't have Costco. Oh, Costco's oh, yeah, we do like have Costco. Big... Sorry, we do have Costco. Yeah, I'll take it back. Yeah, 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 yeah we, do. we do have Costco. Oh, I've never been in warehouse one. place, right? Buy yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You know, if you if you need if you need ten pounds of cereal and fourteen pounds of mayonnaise, go to Costco. Well, you need four hundred <laughs> toilet rolls at the moment. That's <laughs> exactly. Uh, so Costco is one of the ones, one of the first ones, I think, that that said you cannot come in without a mask if you don't have one. There you go, and they'll hand you one. Which is fine, right? Yeah. I'm I'm totally okay with all that stuff. I think I think making some sort of, of reasonable precautions is a good idea. Washing the hands, all that kind of stuff. But you can't tell people to not leave your house. They, you just can't. I mean, that's it's ridiculous. <laughs> Point. <laughs> yeah. No. No. We. It, to, it, our economy is the same, mm. but yeah. because we're so. They're so, not. They're not even on. They're not even on the second. They're not even it. on second wave yet. They're still killing people in the first fucker. Mm. You've got. You've got it to come again. But our, our economy works the same, except we oh, yeah. just we we forgo our houses. Yeah. We we just don't work anyway. Don't make any money and just die of yeah. de- of like <laughs> pure nothingness. Uh, that's right. we, that we would rather do that than upset someone. You 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 have like a, I mean, uh, the healthcare system is off the like it's incomparable. So it's not worth it's not, it's not worthy nice it's not worthy of debate. And the other thing, and um, you do have the thing that we do. I mean, the US and the UK. One of the biggest problems with juggling it for the politicians, which hasn't been seen in other places, is huge amounts of unsecured personal debt, which will always get people to change what they're fucking doing. Like yeah. when the government goes, I think we should do this. I don't think you think that. Right. <laughs> I think you think <laughs> that mm-hmm. that fucking idiot shouldn't have bought a hot tub. That's what I think you 
Yeah. But yeah, let's get back to work. Fuck face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how much? How much credit card there have you got? Oh, thirty-two thousand pounds. Yeah. No. Yep. No, it's fine. No, you can't catch it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> do something. That's right. Yeah, uh, it's like go, a terrible fucking under your system. job. Do it. Uh, it's a really it's shit. Idea. Idea. Yeah. So we've officially covered COVID. We've we've remained yes. current. Um, that was quite what good. do you want to ask, John? Uh, well, you've got. Uh, obviously, it's kind of weird. You've got a really weird atmosphere in the US when it comes to flavor restrictions, which yeah. it looked like it was going to become important. But I don't know that you've not broke the back of it because they're being a lot more lenient on on uh, passing things than, than I think people suspected they were going to be. The, as um, far as the PMTAs, like the yeah. government registration thing? Yeah, I think they do seem to. People have got, I've seen quite a few liquid companies get it who I know were worried about it yep. uh, two years ago. Uh, and that's changed. You've and, had and it some, didn't cost a million pounds. It didn't cost a million pounds. And you've also got, I'm not saying it was free. We're not saying that. But, right. um, and the other thing is that you've had some, we've used some of the US news in the last, uh, you've had such, such contradictory stories from everywhere. A uh, story broke two weeks ago that when they looked at the figures, the more people that vape, the less people got sick. Mm. Um, because you were basically flooding the market with branded goods, not bullshit, where people are yeah. actually... And, and, Which is where we're headed now, right? Yeah, they've nearly accepted that it was mm. v- uh, vitamin E acetate uh, because it fucking plainly was <laughs> right. that was, was causing it. Um and that seems to be the way it's coming. I mean, anyone, anyone who can understand fundamental high school maths could understand that that's what it is. That was it's, what it was. That's what. That's what it. it was. And that vaping is much more gooder for you than, than you know, <laughs> than you would have yeah. thought. <clears throat> so, uh, just to reel back just a little bit, and and this is just me. This is this is my opinion of what I see around. This is not you know, scientific fact or anything. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't remember your intro enough to where like, we always like spam across, like, these are just opinions. We are not doctors, you know, don't, don't, don't worry about it. But anyway, say, kiss my ass. <laughs> if you don't like it, get fucked. Yeah, go, go jump in a lake. So almost, almost all of the super restrictive flavor stuff is all on the left coast, all on the West coast of, of America, where there are a bunch of psychos anyway. Uh, there are a couple uh, outstanders, uh, Massachusetts one, um, and then there's a couple other ones on the East Coast that tried to do the similar sorts of things. But to me, the reason you haven't seen a whole lot of that kind of stuff lately is because it doesn't really matter because the FDA is basically banning everything anyway. Mm-hmm. The couple that you have seen come through that have gotten, quote unquote, that you may have seen gotten through the PMTA process, which is the FDA registration garbage. Um, and I know you know this shit. I'm just, just saying. No, 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 it's fine. No, 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 We'd rather yeah, yeah. spin it out. The, the most important thing is, I believe 100% of the ones that we've seen that have gone through that people are excited about, they haven't been approved. They've been accepted. So they're, I mean, terabytes of information that these small companies have had to generate in order to bullshit prove their bullshit, you know, rules. <clears throat> uh, they, they've literally just, the FDA says, we have that now. That's, <laughs> that's all it is, right? It's, it's, it's not a, you can continue selling this. It's a, right. we have now received your application and it was before the date. And that's, that's it. I don't Oh, think okay. Was, so when I, uh, cause I saw John with the uh, Casadega had got, said he, they were clear, but they're not clear. They're accepted. I, that, I don't that, know. That, that, that would, I think you're right. Because from the way it was worded, it would make more sense for yeah. you to be correct than me because reading it, he said, when something, something came through, uh, because it's just been such a huge blast of bullshit f- from, f- you know, same as you. When 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 you find out that the cricketers in the UK have got seventeen philodems for forty four, you don't give a fuck. But and yeah. for the same reason, when it says the FDA and the BND and the nine seven two one four, yeah, what does it mean? Yes or no? Yeah, you just yeah, give that makes a fuck. that makes a lot of sense because it because they've been really quick. They've yeah, been, some of them have been really quick, haven't they? Yeah, 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 and and there's and there's no way on God's earth that anybody the FDA has gone through even one of those. I bet. Yeah, I, I, that's my guess. Yeah, I think you're yeah. totally correct. Yeah, you've got kind of it's it's not there's something quite sad and uh, especially because we spoke about it years ago, angst and uh, I won't do the naming thing or anything like that, but I remember <clears throat> I passionately bollocks various people for 
talking about well i i was always more wary of the um dual than a lot of people and uh, especially currently you were wary about what the dual the jewel, the jewel. Oh, jewel. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. And uh, being shitty with people who had a jewel. You had it. You're one of the first people with it. So I'm not talking to you, but I'm talking about people where I remember being at shows and somebody was kind of going, oh, yeah, Americans over in the UK. Certain mm. reviewers had got one and they were kind of going, oh, it's amazing. I'm like, no, not. It's relative, <laughs> not compared, to, not compared to any other fucking refillable, reusable item. It doesn't hold up at all. And I was like, right. you know, no, no, it's really, really great. And we had a couple of um, Americans on the show, one of the shows we did a few years back, and I said, "You're crazy. You need to stop promoting it because it's going to blow up in your face, and they'll sell it." And they said, "No, nah, they won't." <laughs> They fucking did. Cause, yeah, they did. Because <laughs> it's a capitalist economy. That's always going to happen. Somebody offers, you'd be insane. Your investors are not right. You don't get the option to say no to billions. You don't get the option. Sorry, we don't really want your $5 billion. Uh, yeah. We're going to stay fucked. and be fight for, the, you know, fight for the man. Okay. I mean, I mean the investors who, who own those shares, they must have made, you know, they've made millions. They're not stupid. Why the fuck you got to do it? And right. I'd fucking do it, <laughs> you know, because you would. Yeah, everyone's got a price. Yeah, and it, and it was a it was and an it was a thing. crazy price. Yeah, yeah, it was. Well, not so much. I mean, they've taken the market in no, the no. US. No, it, no. Look at it now. Look at the share price now. Has it dropped? I don't know. It's dropped a lot since the. Bar. Oh, yeah. fine. Okay, I did. I I, I just don't watch. Them. But like, it didn't. It, the jewel never got a grip in the UK because of the uh, uh, the tobacco controls it being 20 yeah. milligram just stopped it ever yeah. getting a grip um so nobody gives a shit <laughs> it's like so do, do I, I mean, wanky foo, no? uh, foo on the show still has one and he uses it on the reg because it's um uh it's small and it's discreet uh and it'll get you a neck fix where if you're at work or whatever right yeah and, and to me and and he and i both agree that if if the jewel had been out in 2013 or 14 or whatever it was when i finally switched off of smoking yeah. I would have never gone to a hobby as vaping. Yeah, it, it but, would have been. It uh, had to be that fifty milligram. For, for, for no, that. it didn't have to be the fifty. I don't think. But I, but for I, me I think... to to quit, I would have. Well, I don't even. I didn't even. I've used it. This is fifty now. That's fifty milligram salt in here. Is it? Yeah, and I wouldn't. I had the because uh, they gave jewels away in the UK, mm. and so I got one for free. And uh, it, it just I don't get it. It's just like it, it's bad. It's. It reminds me of vaping in 2013. It doesn't yeah, remind me of vaping for sure. now. As far as like like vape quality goes, mm. yeah, I agree. But that's that's what I mean. Like, because even so, like back in like 2011 and 2012 or something like that, I tried multiple times to quit smoking with the little you know cig likes, right? <clears throat> and they were and they were interesting as a geeky per kind of person. Like they were, it was an interesting idea. But the vape sucked. Yeah, so I, 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 didn't, I, right? I couldn't quit with that. I tried. <clears throat> But the jewel was good enough to where I think I really do think that I think if that had been out then, I would have never started hobbyist vaping. Yeah, yeah. You could on on the flip side, it's the same with all the ready available sub tanks now. You know, like you can if someone just has seen someone else doing it and they just want to blow clouds and not yeah. smoke, yeah. you can walk into anywhere and just get a pretty decent sub tank now. I found are they are they that much better? And uh, this is coming from this is an honest question because this is somebody that I haven't used yeah. a clear tank or clear or uh, you know sub tank. I guess is a better way of saying it. It's funny that we that we just like clung onto that kanger thing, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> called it all sub tanks. But it, are they better? They're, are they so good now? Uh, because like obviously the first ones that I was using when I quit was the the Pro Tank one, yeah, and the Evod that came yeah. out you know soon thereafter. And they were they were fine. They got me to quit smoking, right? Which is which is great. But I I did start to hate it after about two or three months. Yeah. And I had somebody, uh, a friend of mine that I knew through a custom knife forum, was coming over to Russia, and said I I have this this thing over there, and it's it's called a uh, um this it's from, oh god <coughs> I'm sorry I'm a little loopy uh totally just went out was of my the, brain with that. was it the atlantis the atlantis was no the no the one. first rebuild the first rebuildable oh, the tank first rebuildable was... first rebuildable tank uh vv nova well it wasn't no, the, the toll. Uh, um god bless it somebody come up with something <laughs> yeah no i'm <laughs> sorry I, I don't know what the hell's going on because i haven't used one in such a long time and it just totally fell out of my brain the genesis 
No, first rebuildable. Uh, well, back in the day, we were using. Uh, oh, he's talking about he's talking about K fund. Yeah, the K fund. Sorry, yeah. thank you. That's exactly right. So <laughs> All right, okay. the K fund had just had come out, and the I three like, I'm going to going to Russia. I know this place. They sell this thing called a K fund. It's a hundred bucks, mm. but it's awesome. And I need yeah. uh, send me the money. I'll buy you one when I'm over there. And it, I said, okay, fine. And I did it, and it, it changed my vaping. Like it, it was like they got it in chat, but just you got a delay, <laughs> so you don't see. <clears throat> yeah. So, Y'all are at a dis disadvantage. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, that that that's what did it for me. Finally, that's what sealed it. Uh, so the the clear the clearos that helped, and they and it did get me to quit smoking for a couple of months. But the K funds what was done. I was done with smoking. This was amazing. It tastes great. It gives me the nick that I want. In and answer wow. to your question, like the, you, they are the, the coils right. in, infinitely better than they're, they're nothing they're right. like that. Infinitely yeah. better. But it does depend on how you vape what wattage you're at and there's what, some yeah. there's some very nice low watt like there's some nice 12 watt 15 watt ones mouth to lung type tanks and then there's really good cloudy ones but i don't think there's any tank any sub tank or clearizer that's that's nailed that how most rta users vape you know 25 mm. 35 watts you know just relaxed sort of hurricane yeah. style or the newer kfun style um, right. Yeah, so I don't think anyone's quite nailed that um, like for like. But if you just want a cloudy RTA, you're just as well off with a sub tank now. They're incredible. And it's quite cleverly though. What they've also done is they've realised what 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 used to really fuck us off years ago. Um, like I remember five six years ago, like telling people they were fucking wrong, like the liquid companies were wrong. And it, there was always the printer analogy that always got me. Like uh, the money is never in the fucking printer, and they know that because in the holiday season in the UK, on Boxing Day, go and buy a brand new printer because it will be a third of the price. It always right. is because they make the money on the fucking ink. On the ink so, cartridges, absolutely. And they've managed to convince loads and loads of people who smoke to go to really cloudy three milligram. <laughs> and they're gonna they're vaping a 400 mil of liquid a week and you're like yeah. what the fuck i remember i've been to shows before and they've been with somebody and they've got their bag out and they've got yeah. a liter bottle mixed up <laughs> fill up a two fuck are you doing and they they look at me and they go oh how long are you vaping I go, you well, do it just eight, like that eight years. just like eddie murphy yeah <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, <laughs> what are you doing? And, they, and i've got like a 10 mil bottle in my pocket and i'm like Fill something yeah. up. Good for another six hours, guys. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I've got I've got my two mil. I'm gonna be yeah. I'm gonna be all right for the weekend. To be fair, yeah. And they yeah. And everybody's yeah. it's that really. The other thing they can do sometimes if my, if my wife's with me, they'll convince my wife that I'm a fucking crackhead in two seconds. Like they'll be like they'll be like yeah, I'm on uh, one milligram, and uh, and then my wife will nudge me and go, "Do you hear that?" I'm like, "Yeah, yeah. I heard that." And she goes, "What well, you want to go and go fifty and they go <laughs> and they go oh my god you go oh, whoa whoa whoa, whoa 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 how much of that are you vaping a day and they yeah. go, oh i've got it down i'm only on about 100 mil and i look at her like <laughs> fucking what the shit i don't use that yeah. <clears throat> i tried the step down program nick a day right yeah. <laughs> it doesn't doesn't work for me I've eight years leave me the fuck alone i'm not stepping yeah. down i don't give a shit it's fine someone needs to make it <clears throat> an official chart that we all use 30 watts at 3 mg and how much actual nicotine you're in, inhaling versus yeah, yeah. Cause, 10, watt, cause 10 watts, 50 mg. When Craig used to, because Craig's great, because when, when, when Craig was on the show and you were talking to Craig, Craig is well aware of his own f fucking problem. If you say to him, like, what milligram are you on? He'll go, like, oh, three milligram. And you go, how much do you vape a day? And he'll go, 30 mil. And that's more than you. And you go, yeah, it <laughs> absolutely fucking it. You vape more nicotine than I do daily. Yeah. Because you do. It doesn't matter. I can't do that unless it was a 200 milligram. You're mm. always going to be. I would do that. Just have two milligram and one drag a day. Just go. Well, you done. might as well just inject it at that point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Um, I'd be crap. Like, I'd, I'd definitely miss. Anyway, you like you're watching your time, uh, Angst. Are you good? Yeah, no, I do need to bounce pretty quick. But I, I, I do agree. That, that's actually one of the reasons I went. I scaled myself back down because since I work. Uh, out of the house. I have a home office, and this is where I spent all day and all day vaping. Um, I was getting too much nick, so I, I had to scale down because I still enjoy the process of vaping. Yeah, yeah. But there was too much nick, and I didn't want to reduce the amount that I was vaping. 
So I did have to bring that down. But yeah, I mean, I mean, full full stop. I I on three milligram, I probably vape. Uh, I don't know, two or three squat bottles a day, probably probably two or three. Yeah, so that's well, that's that's like twenty mil, isn't it? Something like that. Yeah. 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 But that's fine. But it doesn't matter if you got eyes on you. It's just it's the nonsense that people want to throw in your face and you're going. Yeah. Shut if, the if fuck you know, up. Yeah. If you know right. if you know what you're doing. Yeah, just probably, lead people to whatever they fucking do. I'm three MG, probably nine mil a day, eight mil a day, something like that. You yeah. know, but, but I, it, that's just I've tried all the different ways. I've just decided that's just how I'm most comfortable. I think. Yeah, I right. think it's just it can't. Um, uh, I don't like trying to see. I don't like somebody trying to convince somebody. Um, there's a thing that in vape shops people do where they say, "How many cigarettes do you smoke a day?" Mm-hmm. And that's a nonsense fucking equation yeah. because you could be smoking 20 light cigarettes in 14 hours right. or you might be smoking 10 strong cigarettes in an hour and a half. And that right. you've changed the game. That's not yeah. the same thing. It's You're going to need something else to stop you because if you tell me 10 cigarettes, I'm going to assume, oh, okay, I'm going to go with three milligram and blah, blah, blah. That's bullshit. That's not going to stop. It's not going to stop you. And as I had a new customer the other day, and with the restrictions of COVID, it's really, really difficult. But I was saying to him, look, listen, uh, the biggest number one thing you've got to want to stop. I can't give you that. Absolutely. I, ho- I hope you want to stop. And if you want to stop, you can stop. Number two, I'm not going to tell you how many drags to take. That's up to you. Keep vaping it. If you feel sick, stop. Yeah. Um, vape it as many times as you want. That, that, but that's, that's one thing that a lot of smokers struggle to get their head around. They, they're it'll... used to the inbuilt guilt with every inhale. With every cigarette. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but, but I love people who go, who say, how will I know if I've had too much? And I go, you're going to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. It's right. coming. <laughs> like that once. <laughs> that moment where you go, oh shit, uh, oh uh, that is yeah. bad. That pale sweat, and I'm like, yeah, just sit down and calm down yeah. and have a have glass some water. water. That's yeah. the, that's for. I always found that you have a seat, drink some water, yeah. and you'll be fine. Yeah. It'll pass. It'll pass in less than five minutes. You'll be fine. Yeah. But it's just that that in the short. Mine is always if I'm under lots of pressure and I'm trying to do something quite complicated. I find that I just go, <laughs> and then mm-hmm. and then I go, oh, I'm not standing up for a while. Yeah. And I can not vape then for an hour because I just think, ah, it's too much now. Nah. Yeah. But I like the idea of how would I know not to take a drag? You wouldn't yeah. be able to. <laughs> there isn't right. wild horses that could pull that fucking thing to your face and make you hit the button. You will not be hitting that button. It's like the That's day right. after getting shit faced on whiskey. Somebody going, Do you want a whiskey? No, I fucking don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, get fucked. <clears throat> anyway, Brian, I think you want to go now, don't you? I, yeah, I'm afraid so. I do need to go. It's still in the middle of the work day for us over here. <laughs> no worries, thanks. Thank uh, you very much for coming on. Yeah, thanks for having me, guys. Uh, lovely lovely to see you. Chat. We'll uh, we'll bye, talk bye, to you guys bye, soon. Bye, bye. Later. See, see you later. Thanks. Bye. bye. And that was Angsty from the Plumes of Hazard. Don't forget, they are on at what was it, three a.m., four a.m., three or four a.m. Just subscribe on the YouTube. Yeah, and, and watch and, it on Catch Up. And watch them. Sean, who was never going to be back, is back all the fucking time. Yeah, Plumes, Plumes of Hazard. Just put in Plumes of Hazard if you don't already. Um, they got a fun show. They got a fun show yeah, every put, um, every sort of early hours of Tuesday morning, I believe it technically is for us. Yes, I think it technically is exactly that. Are we going I- I- I into the nude? Yep. <laughs> okay. All right, mate. All right. All right. We're going to go into the mirror first. I think <clears throat> it's really quite 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 a, too easy to drink. That's um, uh, Tropica. It's very good. Okay. Mm. Okay, we've got the mirror. It's quite a load of shit, actually. Um, well, I don't know. Well, it doesn't matter, is the point I thought of. Anyway. Well, the... well let's wait and see. Yeah, exactly. The mirror's headline is vaping in pregnancy increases the risk of having a child with behavioral, behavioral difficulties. Uh, exposure to flavoured e chemicals in the womb leads to hyperactive offspring, while those with nicotine cause even more dramatic changes to a growing fetus. Fetuses, grey matter, warn scientists. <clears throat> Exposure to flavoured e chemicals in the womb lead to hyperactive birth. They've already said that. Lead author, Professor Muff I'm going to go with that. That's enough for me. Said, uh, vape flavorants dull sensory perception and cause hyperactivity in developing zebrafish embryos. 
Okay. Smoking conventional cigarettes during a pregnancy has been linked to ADHD, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, and autism in children. The latest findings published in the journal Biology Letters suggest vaping could also trigger neurological conditions. Experiments on zebrafish, not humans, indicate it harms the developing structure of a baby's brain. Embryonic development is surprisingly similar in the humble marine creature. Smoke toxins can pass to a fetus and have an effect on brain chemistry, explained Professor. I'm going to go for it this time. How did they get the fish to vape? It just made a really good flavour. Moorish. It was like a cherry. Sweet. The how about how did they do it underwater? It must have used uh, an Aegis. Goggles. Snorkel. <laughs> <laughs> must have used um, the new Aegis. <laughs> Hero. <laughs> and then just a fin slap <clears throat> on the button. <laughs> Go for it. Um, I do think that's quite... Uh... Bob Clark's almost come up with a new catchphrase. Don't vape Bob in Clark. a womb. Don't vape in a womb. Um, smoke toxins can pass through fetus and have an effect on brain chemistry. Uh, he said vaping during pregnancy exposes the developing baby's brain to chemicals in the vape. It's basically the same thing over again. Our results suggest flavours have the potential to impact prenatal brain development. His team at the University of Calgary, Canada, used a technique called PMR. Photomotor response. It caused zebrafish embryos to move under light. The animal model showed exposure to the vaping in the womb altered their behaviour and dulled sensory, but sen- sen- sensory perception. Um, it's a difficult... Let me just... Quick. It was only to say that we do... I don't advocate... If, 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 you, if you've got... If the choices are smoking, vaping or nothing, then obviously nothing wins. Um, if your choices are smoking or vaping, then I'm going to say I think vaping. It's the more sensible thing to do. Yeah, and uh, so do the uh, Royal Royal College of, of Midwives. Midwifery. Yeah. Yes, that's the one. All oh, you won. You won midwifery. Yes. Uh, but I. Uh, okay, so there's a lot of um, high concept science in that um, in what they've done. But I tell you what, um, caffeine has side effects for yes. babies um, and I think as nonsense as that particular approach to this problem is I do feel there could be there could be potential links between how much nicotine a, 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 a pregnant woman ingests uh, uh, and, and, what, and that could potentially have an impact on a fetus but we would need a far better scientific team to work it, it, on that than what has clearly Trade with some fish. It, isn't the caffeine something else? Like, like, uh, and again, this is not yeah, because the, I don't it, want a direct comparison. I thought the caffeine could could cause um, uh, placenta detachment. That's what I thought. It's, it was it's, a patch, it it's mainly that, but yeah. there are also aspects of it, and it goes on. Uh, it goes on after the child is born right, through okay. the milk as well. So. If oh, I know. While, yeah, while yeah, you're that's... breastfeeding, you've got to keep your caffeine levels low yeah, yeah. and nicotine levels low. I would suggest. I would say, I, it's exactly what you said before. If your choice is to smoke when pregnant or vape when pregnant, vape. But if you can do neither, please try. Um, but and, but and similarly, if you a breastfeeding mother, I think ideally would vape as little as possible as well. I think there's Absolutely. something there. I think that this. I think as bullshit as that article is, and the people working on that. I think there's potentially something there, so we're not to make light on it, and not to hypothesise too much. But uh, I think, yeah, the most more healthy stuff you can do when carrying a child or feeding a child with your internal juices, the better. I suppose you could oxygenate the water with vape-filled on oxygenation sort of system. I'd love to know. I'd love to know how they got. How they're doing? Yeah, I'd love or they're to just know. putting it in there. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. It's a really difficult. Um, they kind of yeah, indirectly yeah, 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 made get a fish tank pour e juice in. Not a terrible um, thing uh, point uh, because nobody I've never seen a vape advocate advocate for vaping in pregnancy. I've seen them say what I what we both said, which is the better of two uh-huh, evils, uh-huh. but certainly not the better of of, of nothing. So yeah, uh, it's, it's a. If it was a dolphin, I'd get it because you literally just put the mech mod down the blowhole. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, easy peasy. Tickle them. Other day, definitely. <laughs> get it. 
in yeah, for the blowhole, out for the. Um, so yeah, yeah that's interest, uh, interest, inter- it, it would be interesting with better signs. That. <laughs> I think we could just slam all vaping stuff but with that. I still think <laughs> we need this official approved vaping sign. signs. And somebody, somebody made a model of it. Well, we know Glaxo Smith, not Glaxo. We know that Gallagher would definitely. We know they bought parts for a machine to make a vaping model. Yes, we do. No one's ever seen it. So uh, it'd be interesting to see what they actually come up with. Um, <clears throat> this is just a weird kind of positive. Yeah, I'm a bit dubious, but it's fine. Anyway, betterretailing.com has said vaping category grows 12.6% since menthol ban. In the 12 weeks since the menthol ban came into force, the vaping category has grown by 12.6%. We've been in a fucking lockdown. Um, the sales of menthol and products up 44.6%. According to Jewel Labs UK, e-cigarettes are the largest sector in next-gen nicotine category and recent data from industry analysis IRI shows double digit growth in e cigarette sales in the 12 weeks after the removal of menthol cigarettes from stores compared to the 12 weeks prior. Though I posted a thing on the uh, group, uh, on our Facebook group, a uh, week before last, that UK smokers turn into a fucking MacGyver as soon as you narrow the market. They took menthol off the market and you can buy a device that puts the menthol bead back in the filter. There's like a little gizmo you can get, and it injects the crackable little thing of menthol back in the filter, like those right, ones you right, pop right. them. Right, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And you go, and then you do it again. And there's, and, and there's a choice of menthol balls you can use. Yeah, there's disposable inject. menthol drip tips available for vaping. <laughs> it's fucking insanity. I do, I kind of, we, we, are, we are a genius nation if you try to... <laughs> I so I wonder what would happen if you bad alcohol. People would like be speak, like speakeasies. Yeah, people be brewing grass and bits of dog shit and whatever. They don't care anything to get fucked up. It's fine. It's a really weird thing, but uh, I think the twelve point six percent is a dodgy figure because of a lockdown. I think people can order shit. You can't order cigarettes to appear at your doorway, but you can order vaping stuff. So I think vaping has has had a, a growth during a uh, lockdown. I think it's got not a lot to do with. Is there nowhere you can get fags delivered? I don't think. I don't think so. Uh, we do, can you get delivered in your shopping? What? What a potential sideline. You are delivering fags. Yeah, yeah just like a paper round, but fag round. Oh. What do you need? Back to the nineties. Uh, I don't know if you can get fags on your supermarket shop. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. You can get booze. I just don't you know. You can get booze. This seems quite weird. Uh, Frank and Amiza says, o- OP, a hole's menthol drop and you're covered. OP. Yes, you could just pop one in and vape. I did used to chew gum and smoke at the same time. There you go. Yeah, so it's sort of similar. Um, <clears throat> the IBVTA have come out of the hole in the ground that they found during lockdown, a fucking big deep one, and posted today uh, with uh, pump. Uh, Public Health Minister Joe Churchill reiterates... Great, great name for politics. Huh? Joe Churchill, yeah. You might know her great-uncle. Yeah. Uh, I respect it. Uh, reiterates that there is currently no evidence... How did she COVID- get the gig? <laughs> COVID-19, that's the last thing he said. COVID-19 is more likely to be transmitted... There is no evidence that it's more likely to be transmitted by passive exposure to e-cigarette vapour. Alex Sobel, uh, the shadow minister... Why have I you read it the wrong way around? That's the way he asks. He asks Joe Churchill that question. Yeah, and then she said what you just said. You're quite right. I didn't. I read the IBPT. I didn't know they put it in the actual stuff. Um. Anyway, Alex, 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 the Shadow Minister for Digital, Cultural, Media and Sport, uh, asked the Secretary of State for Health he and Social. He clearly gets a free subscription to the Sun Online as part of that <laughs> role, doesn't he? <laughs> Definitely. What assessment his department had made uh, of the potential effect of vaping on the transmission of COVID-19? And the answer, uh, well, it was okay, we'll go for the in-depth answer from Joe Churchill. I kind of was a few lines from it. This uh, is currently no evidence that COVID-19 is more likely to be transmitted via passive exposure to cigarette smoke or e-cigarette vapour. However, being in close proximity to anyone with an active infection could carry the risk of infection regardless of whether they're smoking or vaping. No shit, Joe. 
Not as clever as your great uncle. He would have been a bit closer to the mic. But it was nice to see the IBBTA speaking. Um, yeah, anything. Uh, Thanks. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> any words. Just, hello, we're not dead. It would have been quite good. Uh, this was the New York Times, and I was just going through a script. Which one's this? The last link I put. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But it's fine. This is really quite interesting. I'm just going to read it at straight flat down because it reads brilliantly badly. Uh, this is from the New York Times. Vaping links to COVID risks are becoming clear, so they say. Researchers are starting to home in on the ways in which the use of e-cigarettes raise the chances of catching the virus and suffering its worst effects. 20-year-old Yanan Moen vaped his first pen a year ago. By late fall, he was blowing through several THC-laced cartridges a week. More, he said, than most people can handle. I like that. It's fucking big enough. I, off. Yeah. I mean, here we are. Absolute but, ledge. Yeah, <laughs> I was slamming him. <laughs> then, in early December, he found himself That's in the breakfast. emergency room of Sharp Gross Point Hospital in San Diego with a collapsed lung and a diagnosis of vaping-related lung illness. His hospital stay plunged him into a medically induced coma, forcing him into a breathing machine onto, so, and stripped him <laughs> of nearly 50 pounds off his six foot or one inch frame. Show off again. At one point, Mr. Bowen said his doctors gave him a 5% chance of survival. When he contracted a mild case of COVID-19 during a family barbecue three months ago, he knew he had to quit. He had quit not a moment too soon. If I had caught COVID-19 within a week before I was really ill, I probably would have died. Yeah, if I'd have been in uh, the Twin Towers on 9-11, I probably would have died. Yeah, that, me. That is, that is some grade A total bollocks from the New York Times. There's no reason for the story. Complete shit. Uh, we know Clicks. that he lightly baked some uh, yeah, uh, vitamin E acetate. And it, they're not connected. Yeah, oh. and he has still got a shitty lung capacity, and he's a fucking idiot. Dean Feeney's nailed it. I put what fish would you test vaping on? Blowfish. Yeah, Blowfish. on this. What? That is just. I want to hear some more fishy answers though. Just I for think, the hell of it. I think yes. I think <laughs> we could get puntastic. A, a crab on would this be good. One. Could have one on each hand. A A A A. Yeah, especially a little. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. I like it. I like it. I like Clownfish. It. Says Dion. It could, yes, yeah, sir. Could there's more well, than was a uh, liquid fuse. Yeah, there's several sub tanks that look like clownfish with that sort of orange and orange, white, and black going on there. Uh, uh, yes, perfect. So that's the news, then, is it? Yes, that's all we've got. Fantastic. Uh, we've got right, some new stuff. We've got some new stuff. Do you want to see some new stuff? Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right, I'm lining it up. I'm going to watch it. Okie dokie, I'll preempt that. I've got to turn off the chat. It's fucking irritating as shit. <laughs> on here. Puffer fish, make blizzard. Absolute oh, genius. Definite. That's a win. Uh, Andy's gone with salt cod. See what he's done. It's good. We're, yeah. <laughs> uh, I've got your first one. Stop, 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 Okie okay, dokie. Okay. So, this is. A brand new vape company. Um, well, newish. Uh, a newish vape company. This is uh, AI Vape Official. Um, this is uh, a new company. They have a tank and an RDA. I'll show the RDA in a second. Uh, but this is their uh, their first tank. Um, it's interesting because they've actually put in the post. Um, who doesn't like fish scales? <laughs> um because they've gone with a fish scale pattern on yeah, the, the tank. Yeah, I, I didn't think that was that. I thought it was that hot. Do you remember that chicken wire trend a few years yes. ago? Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. I, um, don't, I don't like the, the tips. It doesn't go at all. No, I think that's... I think um, no matter how well this tank vapes, um, it, they they need to... Uh, they're a new company, so they're learning, but um, they need to look at their the whole design thing. That's not an attractive tank. First of all, you don't want your name of your company in big white on a black tank. Secondly, fish scales. Uh, to answer the question, nobody likes fish scales on an atomizer. Uh, and then a yellow drip tip. Um, 
I don't get that either. Uh, so, yes, uh, I, you, no, no matter how good that is, uh, yeah, but a new company to keep an eye on anyway. Uh, next is their RDA. So they've done an RTA and an RDA, that's their first thing. This is the Ohana RDA, and this one's not as bad. This one's not as bad looking at all. Um, 24 millimeter cloudy situation, and um, it's kind of got a dead rabbit esque deck. Can you see that one, John? Have you muted yourself, John? Stuart Drummond has reviewed the tank with looks like the females in, in Granton, <laughs> rough as fuck. <laughs> so I quite like uh, it's more attractive. I don't like shiny, shiny, it's not really no, American. no, I, yeah, I know what you're saying. Um, it's just, that's the RDA not too bad. Uh, the RTA needs work, uh, but a new company always nice to I see. I think you should lengthen out the description of this while I run off and then come back two uh, seconds okay, later. Okay, okay. You can. Uh, the ne uh, so twenty five mil wide uh, single audio coil. It's got uh, it's got a dead rabbit esque deck, slightly lower profile, and it's a cloudy thing. Uh, so that's a thing. Uh, this one actually is probably a good thing that John's not here for this one. Uh, because uh, this one is the Ares 2 LE. Um, uh, okay, and uh, this is their latest thing. And they've literally said, uh, as you can see in the post, um, everything is the same. Functionally, everything is the same. Uh, the changes are all aesthetic. Uh, so what they've done is they've made it look classier, uh, apparently. Um, they've improved the look and durability of the mouthpiece. I'm there. What is it? <laughs> so I'm on this, the white and silvery ones. Yeah, this is uh, the Ares 2 Silver. LE from Inakin. I don't hate that. I don't, I don't, again, I don't know where they've come with how, the drip tip. How, how do you feel about the fact that this new version, functionally, nothing has changed? Right. Oh, they've just gone for looks, have they? Uh-huh. Yeah, and that's not that's a thingy, isn't it? It's a, it's a dinghy. It's not real, is it? They're just they're not real. They're, uh, no, they're, the renders by the looks of it. Renders, yeah. Well, yeah, I'm suspicious about the top one. The 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 kind of silvery one is definitely a render. I don't understand why you bothered then. I don't understand why they did that. No, I mean it's not suddenly insanely sexy, is it? No, it's definitely not. There it's it's kind of so the LE is just the limited edition. So they've gone with a like a yeah, a limited, better looking version. It's not though, is it? I don't think it is. Is it? Uh, I don't. I don't know like the collar. I really I don't, don't know like what the they're color. doing. I don't like you know. Love Dimitri and Phil. Uh, oh Ares, yeah. Ares is a you know a, a solid, solid mouth to lung RTA. Does what it says on the tin. I don't know if this version was needed, unless it was suddenly looked you know like beautiful, absolutely stunning then I'd get it but um, for me it doesn't look different enough to even justify its existence no uh, so uh, that's that this is <laughs> this is I put this on the uh, Facebook group uh, earlier today this is uh, this is uh, Org Vape teasing us with a silhouette of a new RDA uh, it's some sort of addition to the uh, Druga line um, so yes uh, the teasing the teasing is getting worse from the vape companies now uh, rolling out. I don't mind a bit of. Okay, that's bad teasing. I did, I did see the picture you mm. earlier. Actually, yeah, that's so. that's not a tease, is it? <laughs> it's it's kind of a bit of something and nothing. But so we will keep our eyes peeled for that anyway. I'll be surprised if that even looks like. I think they've done it looking like that for the to put the um, this question mark. It's almost on like it. a I, panic marketing move, isn't it? We don't yeah. have a picture of it yet. We don't. Quick, uh, get someone to do a render. Yeah, oh, no, silhouette, yeah. get a silhouette. Um, so yes, uh, the next one. This one might be of interest to some people because we do have some big fans of the Vupu Drag. Um, this is the latest. This is the Drag Max, um, and it's a dual eighteen six fifty Vupu Drag. So it's gone from being this tiny, um, pocket friendly um, AIO to now there's a basically a two hundred watt version, if you like. It does look. Uh, like a like if that hopefully that can take a kick in because it kind of looks tactical. Does that yeah, make quite, any it's, sense? Yeah, it'll be quite solid. Not air. I don't. I don't, not, I don't um, like Aegis standard. But I don't. So. I'm not a fan of that. Yeah, I broke the Aegis. Uh, it doesn't look like a tan. 
the town I don't like and, yeah the um, atheist has got a fault with the bottom door if you if you whack it a few times the, the hinge is not yeah great. they all have a weak spot yeah it's got a weak yeah that bottom left hand corner uh, if you're holding it face on uh, knock off I'm sure I'm sure I'm sure this will have a 510 adapter as well so you will be able to put other tanks on I'm sure hopefully that, yeah that would be just madness for it not to I'm sure it will yeah, I don't. I don't hate it. I definitely prefer the blue over the tan. That's disgusting. The black and the tan's rank. Hmm. Speaking of tactical, speaking of resistant, um, Vaporesso's next thing, the Fours TX80, um, is very much in tune with uh, the popularity of the um, Aegis. Uh, they this Fours TX80 is shockproof, waterproof, and dustproof, just like the Aegis. It even has a very, very similar cutout and back styling to the Aegis. So basically, this is uh, Vapro Vaporesso's attempt at an Aegis, by the looks of it. I don't, or is that I don't know why they put that fucking grip tank on the top. That is a bad look. Yeah, it's uh, dimensionally yeah, it's, awkward, isn't it? Yeah, it's really awkward. But, but I suppose it ticks a box because people will want to know if big, wide wide tanks fit on it won't they I guess you'll fit on it but yeah it's <laughs> like if you're advertising a house you want like a mini on the driveway don't put yeah, like a smart. paper carrier it just looks like cock. wide angle that, lens yeah that just looks bad it, it's just a bad picture what the fuck are there ice cubes in the background for uh, water resistance I don't know yeah I mean it's not it's not ugly but the, 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 if they change the tank I think you'd get a definite a different approach for, for always, it'll always, as always, be nicer to see it out in the wild. Yeah, uh, yeah. We'll see it for sure. At least um, it's real. They are. They look like they are. Well, they are ice cubes. They're bits of plastic with water around them. But <laughs> at least they've done that. Um, week after week of this new new section, we've been saying all very quietly leaf, all very quietly leaf. Well, guess what? They've got another eye stick coming out. Um, they put a massive tank on it too. <laughs> they put a really big tank, so big it overlaps. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's the iStick eighty with G Zeno tank, with metal aesthetics. Um, so it's a, a new eighty watt iStick. Um, interestingly, do, do you recognise the tank? It rings a bell. It, it does looks look like a kind of, serpenty. Kind yeah, of or not a little. Yeah, powers. like a mix through the two. They're yeah, bastard yeah. child. Yeah. The drip tip again. Fuck off. I don't know what that's about. I don't know why everyone's doing yellow drip tips. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know. It'll be solid. It'll be cheap. It'll be well put that's together. That's exactly that. But that's that's that's, that's the eye stick, isn't it? That's a shelf filler, like in any shop. Like, you know, it's going to work. You're going to stick them on the shelf. They're going to sell. It's an eye stick. It'll know. It, it'll just go. Is it got an 18650 or has it got an internal? Yeah, 18650, I believe. Yeah, cause it's quite weird going backwards. Like, not backwards, but people are drifting away now from the, the internal batteries, which is good, in yeah, a way. The yeah. charge boards have got so much better, but they're not. <clears throat> Those unprotected LiPos are they're a fucking bad idea for us. Pretty anyone sensible. But in 18650, most of the time, the worst it's going to do is stop working, which is good <laughs> if you dent it. If it, um, if it is a built-in battery... Two weeks later, there'll be one with an eighteen six fifty anyway. So, uh, yeah. knowing I don't, I don't hate the ice stick. I don't know why the fuck. Again, the promotional picture. They're obviously going to uh, that weird thing as you said previously. There is a delay in what is oh, popular yeah, yeah. in the UK, and they do it. So they go, oh, look, look, we've seen loads of pictures, and everyone's got a yellow drip tip. Get yellow drip tip. Oh, I've seen loads of pictures. Everyone's got a massive uh, fucking tank. Rufus on chat has said it did say uh, internal. Battery. Oh, okay. Um, this is the RDA. This is the RDA I'm actually vaping tonight. The the Requiem. I just want to show uh, y'all the uh, the grey and all them one. Um, because that's in this picture. Um, mm -hmm. it's. Uh, I think it's. I, I think it's a pretty decent looking RDA, and uh, I don't think it's that I, bad. I, I am enjoying it. Uh, and it's very squonky. So if you're a, a medium to low wattage squonker. Because I tell you what, in the affordable world, there is not a lot of mouth to lung squonk RDAs. There really is not. I mean, even in even in in the in the high end scene, people are still trying to get all of you know, uh, the the really really tight ones, aren't they? So it's a thing. It's a thing. Yeah. If it, if it, if I I want to give it a go because your version of tight and mine 
aren't the same. Yes, exactly. Yeah, no. I, I think it, we're um, a good mix between the two of us with that. And that. I might be, get. I might even get one to see what I reckon. It'd be slightly too loose for you, but you might make it work in your own way. Yeah, that's the thing. Well, that was a lot of the time. What the uh, bit like Chinese um, market say? God, a bit that's like the Aries. Really... You know when I sent you an Aries? Yeah, to, just too loose. Yeah, yeah. you kind Which of ate it for a while, about eighteen watts or something, didn't you? Instead of yeah. your usual twelve or whatever. Yeah, and then gave up. Um, well, for me, it's a long. Uh, it's not. I can't do that. Yeah, the uh, the original Aries was ridiculously loose for what it was yeah. advertised at. We're um, talking about bad pictures, and then you put up that tank. <laughs> <laughs> this is a this is this is a sleeper of a tank. Now, the world. This is the world two from UL. The world one. No one ever talked about. No one ever said they liked or anything like. That. It was actually quite good. The world one. It was a, a twenty watt, a twenty watt clearomizer, basically. Right. And uh, this is the world two. And although not good looking, again, it won't get any press. Um, but I bet it's still a pretty good. You know, if you're sort of that uh, sort of zero point seven Nautilus type person. Yeah, definitely. It's. Uh, yeah, but it's like it's. Uh, it, they're actually really good. You will make good coil heads. And the Van der no that you sent me that I recommended then to Cray, and I actually gave the Van der to a smoker. Um, that tank, the G- GTX ten. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's a fucking amazing tank. Nobody yeah. talks about it because yeah. there's nobody pushing it, so it doesn't make shit all difference. Yeah. But it, it's better. It, there's no way around it. It's better than the Nautilus. Yeah, I agree. Just it, the GTX it, coils. I hope over time they build up a reputation because the GTX coils are excellent. It's like that. That's just a bad promo picture. Why the fuck put the vape cloud above it? Yeah, an apple. Don't do that weird. Yeah, that fucking weird background. It didn't need any of that. Black would have been fine. You you'd have really sold it, or you know, like a. A metallic black background, and they just drop the tank off. But it's fine. Is that I was from a marketing point of view, I can always see where nobody had the balls to say, not that. No, no, yeah, send it back. Yeah, no, absolutely. Not that. Not that. Not that. If you're a 20 watt clearomizer, sub tank 20 watt user, give the whirl a whirl. Give the whirl a whirl. Because uh, no one else will. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing it. In person, because I don't think it's bad. Black and red's not too bad. It's be- they'll, black they'll, and red they'll have me. all the colours. There's still there's a if it was like if it's like last time they did all that, but they still had a stainless and you know just a normal stainless one. Have there's we got no another fucking colour. yellow drip tip next? I just I just glanced. <laughs> it's another fucking yellow drip tip. They love it. We've all got a draw for the drip tips. It's fine. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I should toss them. Well, I haven't. I give them to people because it's fucking got loads. Everyone's always losing drip tips. If you've got a metal one, you will knock your teeth out or you'll keep it forever. Uh, so that's that's the new stuff. Not a bad, not a bad selection. Nice to see a few people like that have gone quiet suddenly piping up like you leave. No pods, which is what people like to see. I can't even. I, I, some pods did pop up t- today and I couldn't be bothered. Fine, fuck them. Nobody likes them. <laughs> All we ever get is shit in the chat. Yeah. People going, oh, fuck it. That's fine. Um, just thinking of Just Add Nick News. Just Add Nick News is that I'm going where Just Add Nick and family. No, we're going away uh, <laughs> on Saturday for one week. So Just Add Nick won't be shipping from Saturday about midday. So if you want to place an order, place an order. I pushed up the, I didn't realise, but Frambosa, there was a fault with the stop level, it was incorrect. So I've put I've up the stop level on the concentrates. There was a fault on the NATA when we did the shift over on the NATA kit. So I've up that. So there is NATA kits. There is fan based concentrates. And there's, was that you trying and to the be opposite, clever? Uh, opposite way around. No, I don't know why I did it. It's a weird thing. It just threw it the wrong way. I don't know. Um, we've had a delivery of PC calls this week. So we've got everything, including the new 0.24, 2.5 aliens, which is if you like, if you want a 2.5 mil. But you still want a low resistance, high wattage vaping, and you can do that. Um, yeah, there's a there's the the reason that when that comes into its own is tanks like the Blotto, mm-hmm. where it's meant to be cloudy, but there's not that much room in the deck, so you can put yeah. two dual coils in two point five. If anyone's got a Blotto, get those coils; it will blow your socks off. And it's the change of having to try to do those two point fives yourself because you'll slip and they'll end up two, up. they'll be 2.8 because it's, it's just keeping the tension it's n- next to impossible yeah anyway, I, i've got so used to doing you. three mils that and i just bowled it up we took the price back down on them all so we're we're in agreement 
with shit my brain who's the man in Cheeky? Cornwall no PC Corps in Cornwall who was selling Steam the Steam Island Steam Island we're, we're all the same price so the, the same price across the board in the UK uh, Robert Steam Island and I um, we know it was never a discussion we just went yeah okay let's do that and so they're the, all the same price if you're so um, yep that's um, good I'm just trying to think. That's, yes, uh, it's, it's technically illegal. Price fixing. Oh. It's hardly price. And you admitted it live on camera. <laughs> I don't think. I don't think it counts as price fixing is a different thing. No, it not. would have to be a benefit to. Okay, I can just. Lo- okay, that didn't happen. I logged to a you site. Were, you're just the kidding, you? I was just kidding, and then I put them that price. It doesn't make any difference if we both agreed to it. It's from the supplier. It's um. It's it's oh. it's good. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. That's that's cooperation. And we're giving, and because I got bored at the start of lockdown, I started giving away sweets. It turns out they all turned into ninety sweets because I just found it funny. Yeah, no, I think that's really good. So we were giving away. That. Yeah, I'm gonna now. We were giving away Twizzlers, and then we were giving away Melody Pops, those annoying whistles, and now we're giving away Stoppers. That's good. I'll do those next. We're doing uh, a fizz whiz at the moment. The pop rocks that pop in your face. You get those free with every order anyway. Is that just the one where you get them. a lolly and you... No, it's the one where you put them in your mouth. Oh, you literally goes... just... Oh, yeah, you make them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and they kind of explode. And you get a big rock sometimes and it'll fire and you'll think you've lost yeah, a tooth. You can but... give them to dogs. Yes, you can. <laughs> Weirdly, they're fine. <laughs> yeah, I had to check. I get really... T- I, I really... Fucking idiots. I still don't advise that. Dogs. No, no, I definitely. I give it to the dog on purpose. Unless you're trying it... to wean a dog off of eight mail. It's whether you got... we've got a cage on it's the like inside. It's like putting our... a dummy in vinegar, isn't it? We've got a cage on the inside of our door because our dog is a twat. So the dog would eat everything. So we have a cage because we just can't handle it. The postman fucking hates it. But I don't care. But, but lots of people don't. And it's not your duty to do that. It's the duty of people not to do that. I know there was a company a few years ago gave away free. Um, Belgium chocolates, like as a tester, and they killed like five dogs in the UK. And they did no one in marketing think don't put chocolates through people's yeah. fucking door. Well, if you know, you know, don't you? Yeah, 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 absolutely. But anyway, that, that's what it's for. Anyway, we've, so we've got Pop Rocks and we've got everything. And uh, we're really, really dangerously, dangerously low on Can Only Be Graham, which is because it's been one of the most popular things we've ever done. Yeah, well, it's one of the best things you've ever done. Canadian Graham is absolutely massive, straight out of Massachusetts to us. That is why I'm thinking, Keith. Keith, Keith has said fireball jawbreakers. And there's a bit of me thinking. <laughs> when I was a kid, I remember eating fireball jawbreakers and having to have a tissue in my pocket because I was funny. I was like spitting it out and then holding it for a while and then right. putting it back in my right. mouth because it's so. I remember it being so hot. Now. Can dogs having, eat screwballs? I'll have to check. Being, but I, I, well, I think 25 years of smoking has probably annihilated any chance I would ever have. It would be too hot for me. Yeah, no, it should be fine. Uh, fine. That was Chan News. Channel News. Uh, you may have noticed some people are, are green tonight. Um, those people have joined the channel. They've become members. Um, basically, basically, if uh, if you want to join the channel, you can. You can hit the join button, and it's a pound a month. Uh, to be a member, if you're a member, you get more videos. Uh, you don't get any new. You don't get any videos. Nothing's changed. If you not, if you don't become if a member, I'm, I'm hoping you're there to me because I can't. Yeah, tell. yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so if get, uh, do it, which you can buy some sweeties and beers. And stuff. <laughs> yeah. No, it's uh, so base basically. If you don't want to do it, nothing will change. You'll get the same amount of reviews. You'll get the same amount of new home shows. Uh, but if you want to see less formal vape mail videos and little vlogs and things like that, then uh, feel free to join. It's not really about the money. It's a, for me. It's about um, being able to put in less formal videos um, up without without spoiling the channel, if that makes sense. Um, so that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm, that's what I'm doing basically. Uh, so yes, uh, feel free to join if you want. Um, and yeah, if you don't. Don't worry, you won't be affected in any way. Uh, I'll I'll do a, a more formal video about it, but yeah, I wanted I wanted to be able to do you know unboxings, vape mail videos, little vlogs without the channel looking all naff to someone coming in fresh. Uh, so that's the thing. Dean Dean Feeney did just comment. He's, it says message retracted, but it did say it's only a pond. 
It's just <laughs> that did make me laugh. Yeah, he meant pound, but I liked it. I preferred pond. Yes. Um, so yeah, it's yeah, it's it's a pound. It's going to cost me more in postage because I'm intending to give out free stuff. I, um, so it's going to cost me more in postage. It's not about the money. I want. I've always wanted somewhere to put it less formal videos up. So I like. I like it. I, I might do that. I, I, Mark wants one ninety nine. No, if I get enough people, I'm going to do. I'm going to do the fake mails live. Don't you only get 70p, Stuart said, because Google It's something like that, yeah, something like that. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? I was going to say, there is, there's no new home show next week. Yes. It's going to have no the week off. No show next week, John's away, and so we'll have a week off. Sorry about that. Yeah. That's always a downer to leave people on, but uh, better to be honest. But isn't better it? tell them. You can still get pissed on your own at nine o'clock and just watch YouTube. Yeah. Just call me. Fine. Just shout. Yeah, just we'll give, we'll give out Richard's mobile next week. Yeah. Um, but I am going to be in the place I can't remember. I'm going to Lincolnshire. What's the. Where am I going? I can't remember. Not. Oh, yes, Skegness. So I'm going. Very nice. Going to, Very anybody's nice. near Skegness? Fuck off. I'm on my holiday. Leave me alone. Um, and that's the end of the show. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you very soon. Oh, uh, Requiem review up tomorrow. So. Look out! Don't for forget, that. don't forget, it's stopped over. We're in lockdown, so fuck. Who's got time for that shit? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks so much for watching. See you later. Oh, Bye.